The GWAC system is an innovative new approach to gate analysis from BTS Bioengineering. It is unique in the fact that it provides spatial temporal parameters as well as pelvic kinematic data during gate. It is a small, easy to use, and extremely portable device. Best of all, it is very affordable. The system works by using a triaxial accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer to precisely track its position in space. It connects wirelessly through Bluetooth and transmits the data in real time. In as few as 20 steps, you are provided with an automatically generated objective gate analysis report that includes graphs and values, including speed, cadence, step and stride length, gate cycle duration, stance, swing, single and double support times, as well as pelvic kinematics. This is very useful information to support a treatment plan, compare treatment options, track changes or improvements, and just generally quantify results. It also gives hard evidence to paying agencies regarding the effectiveness of your treatment. The objective reporting also protects your practice against audits. In this video, we will walk you through the steps required to perform an analysis, cover the basic capabilities and features of the software, and have a look at basic data interpretation. When you first open the software, you are greeted with the home screen. The first step is to add a patient. The easy to use interface has fields for a wide range of patient information, however the critical values are name, date of birth, weight, and height. These fields are required so that the system can associate a normal range for your subject. There are also two boxes for individualized patient notes. One box will print the notes with every analysis, while the other will keep your notes neatly hidden in the system. There's also the ability to add specific notes to each analysis. These features are useful to track your patient's treatment. Once you have a patient file created, have your patient don the belt. Switch the G sensor on and place it in the sensor pocket. The sensor is then positioned over the L5 vertebrae. It must be properly centered for accurate results. At this point, prepare your patient for the analysis. Click the walk button on the right hand side, which will bring up the acquisition window. When you're ready to start the analysis, click the start storage button. The patient must stand still for two seconds to calibrate the sensor. During this period, a stabilization bar will pop up on the screen and then disappear when the sensor is ready to record. The GWAC system also incorporates video recording. If you wish to record the analysis through your webcam or a camera connected to the computer, click Enable Video Capture at the top right. The subject should then walk a minimum of 20 steps. Don't worry if the patient has to turn around during the analysis. The software will automatically recognize and remove these turning steps. Once you are satisfied with the recorded gate, Click Stop Storage and OK. The software will now generate a report. Once the report has been generated, you can print it, create a PDF copy, or simply use the G Studio software to view reports. When viewing a report, the first section you will see is the numerical values. These include cadence, speed, stride length, stride length versus height, cycle duration, step length, stance and swing phase duration, as well as double and single support duration. It also shows a normal range based on age, height, and weight of your patient. The second section shows a visual representation of all the steps taken. If your patient has turned around during the analysis, you will see those steps are grayed out. Gray steps are not included in the report. The third section shows an overall acceleration graph. The dark line in the middle is the average of all steps taken. The green band above and below is the standard deviation. 
This graph highlights how consistent the gate was throughout the analysis, so basically how repeatable one step is in respect to the others. The fourth section shows the same data as the third, however it adds a numerical slope value. The slope is helpful to gauge the strength, or the force exerted, from the left and right steps. The fifth and final section is the pelvic data. You will see tilt, obliquity, and rotation of the pelvis. There is also a symmetry index on the right-hand side, which shows the variance between left and right steps in a percentage value. When interpreting the reports, we like to emphasize that while the normal range is optimal, most patients will have values outside the normal ranges. When looking at a single report, we generally look for symmetry, a reasonable pace, and a low double support time. Asymmetry is a flag for a wide range of pathologies, and a slower pace with higher double support times would indicate an unstable or uncomfortable gait. The results are also helpful to point out subtleties you may have noticed during your visual assessment. We feel a great use of the software is to compare multiple reports such as pre and post treatment or long term patient management. To compare reports, it is easiest to create PDFs for a side to side comparison on the computer or simply use printouts. When fitting a device, you should see immediate changes in the gate. This may show you that you have been successful or indicate the need for a modification. Over time, you might see that you have brought your patient back to a normal and symmetrical gait pattern, or it might show that your patient is accommodating the device and changes could be made for a more natural gait. Differences in mean values, such as speed, stride, and double support time are also associated with an increased risk of falls. Short-term variability in gait parameters, measured every three months, can be a predictive factor in falling. In closing, the BTS G-Walk system is a great tool for every clinic. If you have not yet incorporated an objective gait analysis system, the BTS G-Walk is the ideal choice and will take your practice to the next level. See what it can do for you. To learn more, please call us at 1-877-395-0081 or check us out on the web at MiradalOrthopedics.com.